Oh, hello, FSM family. Magandang gabi po sa lahat. I hope everyone's doing well. What a great Friday night po. Ano? Great Friday morning dito sa amin. Kumusta po ang lahat? Yeah, ready na ba kayo sa ating session tonight tungkol sa level up, healthy living? So kung ready na po, then yeah, let's get on with it. Ako lang mag-isa ngayon. Wala po tayong guest. Hopefully next week we'll have a uh, guest again. Pero ngayon, napaka-importante at napaka-exciting na talakayan naman po ang ating gagawin kasi ito ay patungkol sa pagle-level up natin sa ating kalusugan. Yeah, so batiin ko lang, lamang po mga nandito. Nandito po from YouTube si Elizabeth. Hi, good morning daw. Sabi ni Elizabeth, magandang gabi sa Pilipinas. Andito rin po si Leonelyn Vallejo. Hello po from Batangas. Hello po sa mga kaibigan natin sa Batangas. Thank you, Leonelyn, for tuning in. Andito rin po si Waiting din daw siya. Thank you very much. Si Maria Sheila. Hi, Maria Sheila. Good to see you here. Andito rin po si Marlene. Hello, Marlene. Maraming salamat sa pag-antabay. Andito rin po si... Yeah, nakaabang na daw siya. Veronica. Hello, Veronica. How are you? Thank you so much for tuning in. And nandito rin po si Ika Ko. Hello. Kumusta po kayo? Yeah, good to see you. And si Ronalyn, ang atin pong super VA. Dito rin siya. Sabi niya, hello mga ka-FSM. Siyempre, andito rin po si Nelvin. Hello, Nelvin. Andito rin po si... Pasensya na po at ano yung mga comments medyo, minsan na, nadidelay yung comments dito but yeah, I'll try to pull up your your names and your comments as much as I can. Andito rin po si uh, Micaela Zera Cabiao, kumusta po kayo? And andito rin po si Genevieve, magandang gabi, Genevieve and Catherine is also here. Catherine Cabos, hello po. Dito rin po si Soxy Led. Magandang gabi po sa inyo, Ms. Oxy. Yeah, Peng Sheng Tate is here. Hello, thank you for tuning in. Eileen Torion Cabunyag. Hello po, Ms. Eileen. Good morning, Ms. Lulu. Waking up early as usual. Thank you for tuning in, Ms. Lulu. Mary Lou Balisi. Magandang gabi po from Ilagan, Isabella. Hi sa mga kaibigan po natin sa Isabella. And andito rin po si Oliver. Magandang gabi po, sir. Oliver Sanfuego, saan man po kayo naroon, sir? Magandang gabi. Andito rin po si Zekia Loha. Magandang gabi po. Magandang gabi, Pilipinas. And si Eileen ulit. Yes, Rina Robiso from YouTube. Thank you for tuning in, Rina. Kath- Kathleen Osonoge. Hello. Kumusta po kayo, Miss Kathleen? And andito rin po si Lori Flor Golo. Hello po from Bahrain. Kumusta po mga kaibigan natin sa Bahrain? And andito rin po si Magandang Gabi daw sa lahat ang bati ni Miss Peng Sheng Tate. Abs Campo is also here. Magandang Gabi, sir. Yes, Antoinette Bautista Villegas. Hello po. Nate Dax, magandang gabi po. Watching from YouTube. Maraming salamat po. Shin Shin from Facebook. Good evening po. Ano po dapat kainin sa breakfast kung mag-fasting at anong oras ulit kakainin? Yeah, so pag-uusapan natin yan. Hopefully maliwanagan. Thank you for your question. So the FSM team is here tonight and they're fielding all the questions. And yung hindi natin masasagot tonight, don't worry. Sasagutin po natin yan sa mga susunod na broadcasts. Uh, for now, inihanda namin para sa inyo yung mga comments na, na nangalap, nakalap ng ating team And we will be going through them one by one, ano po, para maliwanagan ang mga may katanungan. Si Janeline Mahina is also here. Magandang gabi po sa inyo. Madam, saan man po kayo naroon? Chato Miyama, hello po. And ito ang ating team, si Nelvin. Francis Vilhorian, magandang gabi po, sir. Saan man po kayo naroon? And yeah, thank you for tagging your friends, Marlin. Jovi is also here from Thailand. Hi! Wow! Meron din tayo mga ka-FSM sa Thailand. Thank you for tuning in po. Hopefully you can help spread the word about our advocacy dyan sa mga kaibigan natin sa Thailand. And sino pa pong hindi nababate? Mishuru is here. Thank you po for tuning in. And Bang Reyes Santis... 
Teban. Pasensya na po, medyo delayed ang aking pagbabasa. Magandang gabi po sa inyo, Miss Bang or Mr. Bang. I'm not sure kung lalaki, babae. And Jovi Lagita. Yeah, I've already read Jovi. And sino pa po? Si Sir Ronald Bill Bara Yumang. Magandang gabi po mga ka-FSM. Sir, Sir Bill, uh, Sir Ronald, thank you po for tuning in. And si... Sino pa po? Uh, let's see. O oh, yung patient ko, hi Rustom. Magandang umaga. Yeah, umaga dito sa amin. And Mim Meme Gakashi from Cebu. Mga kaibigan natin po sa Cebu, magandang gabi po sa inyo dyan. So yung hindi po mababate, later I'll pull up the comments again. I, I can't keep up, medyo marami-raming comments natin. And Ili, I thank you. Uh, I read all your comments, uh, although hindi natin mabati in real time. But uh, rest assured that, you know, the team is on it and we are taking note. Maraming salamat po sa inyong mga comments. And especially yung mga, may mga nagtatanong, yung may mga nagbibigay ng insights. Maraming salamat po for sharing. So we're going to get on with it. Okay, last few na lang. Ito, last few na lang. Oh, ito, si Miss... Oy, hi, Lerms. How are you? Kaibigan po namin si Lerms. Nasa Philippines na po siya ngayon. Kamusta po dyan sa Cebu, Miss Lerms? Hopefully, you're doing well. Great to see you here. Salamat for tuning in. And Mr. Eugene Eugenio, thank you for tagging your friends. Maraming salamat po for tuning in, sir. Yes, Rina Robiso is also here. And sino pa po? Ang hindi ko nabate, pasensya na po, ano? So, from Baguio City, kaibigan po natin, Micaela, yes. And si uh, Hazel Agrisan. Hazel, I'm not so sure kung anong flag ito, pasensya ka na, ha? But wherever you're watching from, maraming salamat. And I hope you're safe there. Yes. Okay, so ngayong gabi po, um, to open up yung atin pong uh, pag-uusapan, uh, let me give you a, a quick Primer, sa mga bago po sa channel natin, maraming salamat for following FSM. Many of you probably came across the channel because you've watched one of our health-related videos. Uh, I can see na doon sa mga videos, so this platform is all about leveling up. So ibig sabihin, yung adhikain po ng aming channel is to help hatakin pataas bawat kapwa to level up. Ngayon, iba't iba pong Uh, aspeto ng buhay yan, ano po yung pagla-level up na gusto nating hikayatin ang kapwa na mag-improve. Unang-una, nandun yung health. And so, thank you sa mga nahikayat, uh, mag-follow ng platform because of health-related concerns, gusto maging healthy. Uh, welcome po kayo lahat dito. It's a very, very supportive platform. It's a big kind of global community, mga taong nagtutulungan, naghahatakan pa taas, especially doon sa atin pong group. Kung hindi pa po kayo membro, please ask to join. At doon makakakita kayo ng mga inspiring stories, mga pagkain na healthy, you know, um, fitness journeys, mga ganun po. So yun yung una po, ano, health. So nandiyan din po yung usaping uh, wealth. So magsa-start po tayo ng, we've already published a few things about, you know, wealth. Kasi syempre health and wealth, these are all part of physical aspect, physical wellness. Andiyan din po yung uh, emotional, emotional aspect. We talk about communication skills, relationships po, emotional well-being, mental skill set building. So mindset, success mindset, mga pag uh, build ng skill set natin. And finally, yung spiritual, which is all about uh, kahit anuman po ang inyong religion, as long as you have a faith system, And even if kayo'y walang faith system, spirituality is all about purpose and contribution, compassion and kindness. So yun po yung pinapalaganap ng aming channel. So again, the four major aspects of life, physical, which includes your health and wealth, emotional, mental, and spiritual. So yung mga broadcasts po namin, mga postings namin, mga videos na inilalabas namin patungkol dun sa apat na aspeto ngayon. Although most of you are here for maybe health, or success, uh, it's good for me to tell you na yung platform is holistic. So siya po ay merong apat na, you know, we uh, try to give you content that will help you level up dun sa apat na aspeto po na yon. So today, mag-focus tayo sa physical aspect. So 
Uh, bago po natin simulan, I just want to really uh, acknowledge and thank yung pong mga um, avid supporters po ng platform natin. So perhaps you've seen yung button. So when you look at FSM, every time we publish a video, there, there is a button. Meron pong click na button doon, nakalagay support, you know, become a supporter. And so ito pong mga taong ito ang gusto ko nang i-acknowledge yung ating mga bagong supporters po. So let me pull up. Um, we have Miss Adora Resolado. Maraming salamat po for supporting FSM. Thank you very much, Miss Adora. I can see sometimes that you come in here to, you know, some comments and really appreciate your support. Uh, we also have Miss uh, Sarah Tiano Matsuo. She's always here as well, and she's uh, a supporter of the platform too. So I really like to acknowledge your, your presence and thank you for the support that you've given to FSM. And also, and dito rin po si Chloe Jovelin Ono. Maraming salamat po, Miss Chloe, for your support sa FSM. So, yeah, uh, you know, the supporters of the platform help us too kasi they are recognizing the work of content creators like us. So it takes a team po to run this platform. And so thank you for your support. It goes a long way. So, uh, simula na po natin, ang pag-uusapan natin. And mag ano muna tayo, magbukas tayo with uh, Pampag Good Vibes. So Pampag Good Vibes, sa mga hindi po nakakaalam, meron po tayong contest sa FSM. So yung mga iba, mahilig mag-join ng contest, you're welcome to, to join our contest as well. And so uh, sa pagbubukas ng ating diskusyon, I will announce one of the contest winners. So I'm just gonna pull up the name. Una po nating winner, si Donna Liwanag. Miss Donna, if you're here, please get in touch with one of our VAs in Alen, Ronalyn na Elgas, para po sa inyong premio. You're one of the weekly contest winners. Ayan. Okay. So first question po tungkol sa intermittent fasting. Unang tanong. So we pulled this up. This is exactly copy and paste from your comment. So kung meron pong katanungan next time, pakilagay lamang po sa comment para madali namin may copy and paste. Unang katanungan, ito po. I tried many diets na po and I always end up having an upset stomach. I tried intermittent fasting, no rice diet, fruit diet, vegetable diet before, and I always end up having stomach problems or get sick. I feel depressed all the time because I want to lose weight but cannot. Ayan. So maganda pong um, pasimulang, uh, you know, topic na pag-usapan nukul sa intermittent fasting. Ano po. Thank you very much. I wasn't able to, kasi kinuha lang ito ng team. I, I don't know who who sent in this comment. Uh, but, yeah. Hopefully, ayan, i-flash ko ulit. So, kung sino man po nagpadala ng comment na to, the very first thing po when it comes to intermittent fasting is you should always be checked muna for medical conditions kasi kapag ka ganyan na paulit-ulit yung nararamdaman, very, very important to rule out yung tinatawag nating organic causes. Ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng organic? So, let me just type it in, okay? So, before tayo mag-start ng any intervention, uh, especially mga diet din yan, kailangan natin i-rule out yung mga tinatawag na organic causes. Ito yung mga karamdaman o mga sakit na maaaring meron tayo, you know, physically, na hindi pa natin na address because these things can contribute doon sa mga sintomas na mararamdaman natin and can also probably impact yun, yun pong ating pag intermittent fasting. So sa ganito pong kaso, uh, again, I try not to really talk so much medical. Uh, however, in this case, kailangan natin you know, pag-usapan kasi it's a very good question. Ano po? Kasi karamihan sa, sa atin, you know, the reason why we, in the first place, consider intermittent fasting, for example, nagkakaroon tayo ng awareness na kailangan natin mag-lose weight is because of the fact na may mga nararamdaman na tayo. So before we venture into this, and again, uh, I think sa Philippines, it's not very, very common. Hindi lahat ng doctors then trained to advise about intermittent fasting, but still, it's good for you to be seeing your professional, your medical professional, make sure wala na pong ibang organic causes na nag, 
nagdudulot ng mga sintomas ninyong nararamdaman. Things like, for example, in this case, upset stomach, marami po yan. Napakalawak po ng differential diagnosis niyan. Yung ibig sabihin yung mga maaaring iba't ibang cause. So, maaaring it's related sa inyong gastric tract. Yun pong mga ulcers, gastritis, yung mga tinatawag na um, uh, y- yung mga parang issue ninyo sa, sa liver kasi mag- magkakalapit lang pong mga organs yan. Nandyan din po yung pancreas ninyo. So, lahat yan nasa isang, uh, isang parte lang ng katawan. And then, you can have like reflux. So, marami po yung iba't iba. And that's why you need the help of a medical professional to fully assess you first lalo na kung paulit-ulit ang um, sintomas. And of course, dahil hindi pa na-address yung source, then it's gonna be hard for you to keep up yung... Kasi intermittent fasting, mga ka-FSM, requires commitment. It's not something that you dabble. Okay? So I want you to... For tonight, lagi po tayo learning and application. Tonight, isa sa mga words na gusto kong maalala po ninyo, other than itong organic, organic causes, is yung ito. Itong word po na ito, dabble. So, it's not something that you dabble into. Ibig sabihin ng dabble is pabanjing-banjing lang ninyong gagawin yung intermittent fasting. If you want it to work, it's something that you commit to. Okay? Isto po ay may kailangan commitment. Dahil po, ano po nangyayari if we don't commit? Dabble, dabble lang yung paano-ano lang, patry-try lang tayo paminsan-minsan. Do you think you'll see results kung kayo po ay paminsan-minsan lamang try. Let's say, oh, ngayon, intermittent fasting ako. Tapos, cheat day, isang linggo. <laughs> isang linggo ako mag-cheat day, and then, oh, sige, intermittent fasting ulit ako. What do you think the result will be, mga ka-FSM? Why would, bakit sinasabi ng iba, oh, it's not gonna work? Kasi you're dabbling. You're dabbling. Ibig sabihin, hindi kayo seryoso. Kumbaga ay, uh, ano ba to? Fling. <laughs> Meron kayong fling with Intermittent fast is not going to work. It may work for some, but generally, if you ask me, para po itong relationship, kailangan ng commitment. Kailangan loyal kayo. You don't dabble, you commit to it. Paminsan-minsan, hindi magiging perfect, but that's okay. Uh, kasi kahit naman sa relasyon po, ano? Sa relasyon, minsan-minsan nag-aaway, may LQ. Pero it doesn't mean na iiwanan mo na, right? Kung committed ka sa relasyon na yun, Sometimes you, you know, you uh, say something and uh, maaring magkaroon ng konting hidwaan, but it doesn't mean na tapos na yung relasyon. So you don't dabble with intermittent fasting. Ano po? And so kung may nararamdaman kayong sakit and it's giving you symptoms, then obviously you're not gonna commit to it, right? Kasi may nararamdaman ka. That's why, importante, pacheck muna, patingnan muna ano nga ba yung mga iba-ibang sintomas na nararamdaman ko, anong mga medical conditions meron ako. And if uh, kayo mabigyan na ng clearance, then mag-commit na kayo sa intermittent fasting. So yun po ang importanteng word for the day, for the night, saan po kayo naroon, for the afternoon, do not dabble. You have to commit. If you're not ready to commit yet, then hindi mo masasabing, oh, nag-IF ako pero hindi naman nag-work. Because you have to give it your 100% before you can say na hindi siya nag-work. Okay. So yun po mga ka-FSM, napakaganda. Sino man po ang nagtanong noon, maraming salamat. It's a great question. Uh, it, it helps clear up a lot of things. It helps um, us to emphasize yung importance po of you checking in with your professional, medical professional, to rule out organic causes, and secondly, help you to really commit to it. Kasi it's not something that you dabble in. Okay? So yun po, maraming salamat sa unang tanong. So before I go, to the next question. Let me see kung ano po ang mga comments na naan dito. Yan. So, sino po ang mga hindi ko pa nababasang comments? Let's have a look here. Yeah, sabi ni and dito po si Mr. Will, since nanood ako sa inyo, 14 kilos na bawa sa timbang dahil sa intermittent fasting, dati 84, ngayon 70 na lang. I like it because fasting is biblical. Wow, that's so great, Mr. Will. I'm so happy for you. Wow! And totoo po yung sinabi ninyo, sa mga hindi po nakakaalam, fasting is a very, very old tradition. Sabi nga ni Mr. Will, it is biblical. It's true po kasi uh, it has been part of many faith systems even from before 
kasi naturally po ang katawan natin was really made to fast. So ibabalik ko po kayo sa evolution po ng tao. Ano? And thank you for this comment, Mr. Will, because it helps me to explain this a little bit further. So kung matatandaan po, evolution, ano ba yung nangyari noong panahon po? Kumusta po yung kalagayan ng mga tao noong panahon? Noong panahon, wala pa pong fridge, walang refrigerator, walang mga groceries, walang mga ready to eat food, walang mga 24 hours a day establishments. Kung gutom ka at nabuhay ka noong panahon, noong noon, noon, panahon, kung saan meron pang, as I said in one of my videos, may mga mababangis na hayop pa, right? At nakatira pa sa kweba yung mga tao or the time when the people were nomads, sila ay yung mga naglalakbay, yung mga nomads, walang tirahan. When you're hungry, you had to actually look for your food, right? And so, yung access ng tao sa food noon, hindi talaga ganun ka-constant. Like ngayon, magutom ka, punta ka sa, punta ka sa grocery or punta ka dyan sa refrigerator mo, buksan mo, kaya dyan sa pantry mo, right? And kain ka. Nung panahon, hindi po ganun. You have to really like hunt or gather. You have to wait for the seasons. Nung panahon na natuto na ang mga taong magtanim, they had to wait, right? And so seasonal yung mga pagkain, yung mga bagay-bagay, kahit yung, you know, hunting is hard. And so people would go into really long fasting periods. Karamihan ng tao, you know, when, when you eat, eh, dahil hindi naman ganun kadalas yung or kabilis ang access sa pagkain, pagkain mo, uh, you would naturally, unang-una, have to wait again until food becomes available. So the body was designed for fasting. Ikalawa, yung kung nakikita nyo po, syempre, di ba, may araw, may gabi. No time na yun, yung mga tao, they were just relying on, for example, kweba, right, na matutulog. So, pag madilim na sa labas, wala pang electricity noon. Uh, although there was the advent of fire, pero generally, pag gabi, right, hindi ka nalalabas ng kweba. So, that will be putting you on a prolonged overnight fast, right? So, sabihin na natin, 6 p.m., medyo madilim-dilim na, pasok ka ng kweba, wala nang ano eh, wala namang electricity, super dilim talaga sa labas. You only have the stars, which by the way are beautiful, stars and moon, but it wasn't enough light to provide you para ikaw ay magliwaliw sa labas. And so you go into the kweba, you go into an overnight fast, and then sa umaga na, pag may araw na ulit, at makahanap ka na ng kakainin mo, kasi hindi naman ready-made yung pagkain noon eh, maghahanap ka pa muna, right? Then saka ka palang kakain, and that's when you, what you call breaking the fast. Kaya nga po breakfast, breaking the fast, because you are fasting overnight. And so, uh, ito pong concept na ito ng fasting is not new. Sabi nga ni Mr. Will, this, you know, this is steeped on a long, long tradition. Even sa mga faith systems natin, yung mga, um, mga kaibigan din natin, mga Muslims, for example, right? They do fasting. Mga kaibigan natin, Buddhists, they do fasting. Um, sa Catholic faith po, meron din tayo niyan. Sa Bible, uh, you know, Jew, mga ganoon. So, Ibat ibang faith systems all have talked about one form of fasting or another because it's part of the natural evolution po ng tao. So, yun po yung, yung thing about fasting. Maraming salamat po sa comment, Mr. Will. I'm happy kasi I was able to explain that to you, that it's actually natural. It's a natural part ng atin po human evolution and we are built to fast. Okay? So, yun po. Maraming salamat for that. And si... Andy, Andy May Christian Renesis. Ako po si Andy sa left breast ko po. So Miss Andy, thank you for your comment. Today, pag-uusapan natin ang intermittent fasting. Um, just as a general advice para sa inyo po, kailangan po magpatingin sa, magpasuri sa doktor. So you have to really touch base with a medical professional. And uh, pasensya na po kasi itong channel natin is not really... Um, channel, medical channel that talks about these things. There are excellent, excellent doctor channels out there. Dr. Willie Ong. Um, hindi ko po kilala. Basta alam ko maraming ibang doctors pa po uh, na nagdi-discuss about this. This channel is mainly concentrated on uh, preventative, healthy living po. So, but I, I really encourage you to check in with a medical practitioner po tungkol dito. Si Rosemary, magandang gabi po. 
And yeah, si Sir Will again, wow, one month, 14, ang gaan po sa pakiramdam, ano? ang gaan ng feeling. Hopefully, Sir Will, you'll be able to uh, maintain this and sana po makapag-share kayo ng ano, if you don't mind, if it's okay with you, please share uh, your pictures with us para po kayo ay ma-publish namin sa ating platform para ma-inspire pa lalo yung mga ibang tao. Yeah. So, hindi mag effect daw kapag di seryoso. Totoo, ano, Miss Leona din. Totoo. So, uh, sabi niya, wag mag-expect ng changes kapag double ka sa ginagawa. That's so true. As with anything in life, if you're just dabbling at hindi ka nanenaryoso, kung fling-fling ka lang, wala po kayong mapapala masyado. Yeah. So, Veronica, old tradition. Uh, yes, it's an old tradition. Rina, thank you, Doc. Dahil sa kapanood ko sa mga live sa Facebook, dami ko natutunan, prutas, gulay na lang kinakain ko at sabayan exercise din po. Good vibes. Maraming salamat po, Miss Rina. Yes, good vibes. Very true, sabi ni Miss Lulu. Did experience that kind of life in our days. I fast every Tuesday and Thursday. Thank you for sharing, Miss Lulu. Yes. So, me and my brother lost weight, sabi ni Jess, Jess. Oh, that's great. Yeah, good for you guys. Keep it up. Mas maganda pag may kasama, no? Nakapamilya. Yeah. Sabi po ni Cosna Anting, Doc, sa amin, mga Muslim, ay pal- palapit na ang fasting. One month at talagang sima sa pagkain. Sa madaling araw hanggang gabi, kahit tubig ay bawal kainin. Paano yun? Yeah, so, actually, uh, ang mga Muslims actually, uh, and hello mga po pala sa mga kaibigan natin, ang mga Muslims dyan. So, yung tradition po ninyo is actually pretty good. Yung, uh, kasi you, you're very, uh, kumbaga, adapted na po ano, sa fasting. And I know that you guys, kahit tubig, walang, ano, so it shouldn't be a problem. You just have to uh, follow po yung inyong fasting schedule. And kung tapos na po yung inyong prolonged fast, then you can just go on a maintenance yung maintenance phase na lamang po, which is shorter fast. Yung mga tipong, um, it, every person is different, but it can be anywhere from between 14 to 16 hours. And this is outside na po doon sa inyong pinaka-fasting. Ano po. Yung, ito ay yung, ano na, yung parang pang daily maintenance phase na lamang natin. So it can be like 14, 16, all the way to 18 kung kaya po. Yeah. So pwede pong yun ang magiging maintenance natin. And then doon sa pinaka-fasting talaga natin, then of course you have to fast kasi yun po yung part ng inyong um, tradition po. Yeah, but thank you for for uh, letting us know po. Sabi po ni Veronica, marami na namang kaalaman. Thank you. Salamat at may natututunan. Sabi po ni Ms. Sylvia, thank you. Inspire us again. Maraming salamat, Ms. Sylvia, for always tuning in. And sabi ng ating butihing VA, join po kayo sa amin Facebook group. Yeah, so mga hindi pa po members, join po join po kayo, Filipino Success Movement Group, nakaka-inspire, napakasarap ng mga pagkain, pinapost nila doon, healthy, healthy food, mga nakaka-inspire ng mga fitness journeys, nakakatuwa po. Yeah. And, sino pa po ang hindi nababasa dito? Okay. So, moving on. Let's move on po. So, yun yung unang katanungan. Ikalawang katanungan, pwede po ba mag-take ng medications while on fasting or not eating window? Pinom muna ako ng tsaa. Yeah, so, pwede daw po ba mag-take ng medications while on fasting or not eating window? So, sagot po dyan ay depende. So, you have to check in as well with your pharmacist. There are certain medications that you actually cannot take with food. So, it's going to be perfect for fasting. So, example dyan, yung thyroid medication, you cannot take that with food. Uh, certain other medications require food. So, kung ganun po, look at your, first of all, uh, maki, maki, uh, pag-usap muna sa inyong health professional, the pharmacist, or your doctor, either or, and sabihin po ninyo yung balak ninyo o mag-intermittent fasting ako, and ito yung mga iinumin, kailan iinumin. Kasi kung talagang kailangan with food, then you have to take it dun sa time na kayo ay uh, hindi fasting. Pero kung yung gamot naman na yun, kasi depende sa uri ng gamot, ay maaaring inumin kahit walang laman ang chan, then of course you can take it with water doon po sa fasting period. So, every medication is different. You have to check in. Napakarami po kasing gamot. 
ano yan, libu-libong gamot. So you really have to check in with your health professional po. So get in touch with your friendly pharmacist. Kung may mga kaibigan po tayo dito mga pharmacists, baka gusto po ninyong mag-provide ng inyong details, then yeah, tulungan po natin yung ating mga kababayan if they have some questions. So yun po ang ma-advise ko about that. So uh, bago po tayo mag-move on, I-pull up ko na naman yung isa pang contest winner. Ito po ay part ng week- weekly contest po ng FSM. I wasn't able to go live uh, last week. And so ngayon, anim po ang ating i-draw na winner. So kanina, I already showed you the name si Donna Liwanag. So Donna is here. Make sure that you follow the mechanics, Donna. If the mechanics have not been followed, then we have to redraw. Second winner po. Si Marlin. Hi, Marlin. Marlin lagi na nanalo. She's so active. So palagi siyang nap- napipili ano po, both in her efforts and also ng random. Kasi random comment picker ito eh. So if you can see, I, I just pulled this um, yesterday. So yan po. Ang nag-qualify, may 77 names daw na nag-qualify. So Marlin is the other winner. So please get in touch with Ron. Then I know, Marlin, that you follow the mechanics. So... No need to prove kilalang kilala ka namin dito. Maraming salamat sa lagi mong pag-support sa ating channel, Marlon, for tagging your family, your friends, for helping spread the word and advocacy ng FSM. It's truly appreciated. Maraming salamat, congratulations, and hopefully ay makatulong kahit pa paano ng konti. Yeah, okay, so, yeah, sabi ni Marlon, winner ulit ako. <laughs> yeah, winner lagi, ano, yeah, sabi ni Ms. Ru, uh, ano sabi dito, wow, congrats daw, sabi ni Ronaldin Suki na raw si Marlin. Yeah, Marlin is so supportive. Thank you. Okay, so pull up natin comment ni Ms. Mariel Magsisi. Doc, ako po ay pumayat, 89 po ako dati, nag po ako ng weight hanggang 71, pero nung nag-pandemic po, tumas ulit ng 77 at di na po ulit ako makabalik sa 71. Di po ako makapag-IF ulit. Okay, thank you for sharing, Ms. Marielle. It's, it's still quite uh, an achievement. Imagine from 89 to 71. Wow. That's a big achievement. That's 18 kilo. So in pounds, ano na yun? Um, it's almost like 40 or something, right? So it's a big achievement. Ngayon, sometimes we reach a plateau. And so, pag ganito po, maaaring kailangan ninyo ng um, I'm not so sure what the circumstances are, why hindi po kayo makabalik sa IF ulit, but kung wala naman pong contraindications, kung hindi, so ano, ano nga ba yung contraindications mga ka-FSM? Di ba doon sa ating beginner's guide, nabanggit ko doon, uh, unang-una syempre, you have to be 18 and over, you have to not be pregnant, ano po, and so, and certain medical conditions you have to check in with your doctor. So kung wala naman po, Ms. Marielle, may itong mga contraindications na ito, then when you're ready to commit, kasi sabi nga natin kanina, ayaw natin ang magdadabble lang, when you're ready to commit, then you can go back if you still want to really lose that extra weight, six kilos to go. You can go back, but you have to commit. And you may need to go for advanced, advanced fast. So dalawang uri po yan, ano? beginners and advanced. Please look up the video ng YouTube namin about advanced fasts and kung um, kailangan ng gabay more than that, then you're welcome to join. Magkakaroon tayo ng FSM wellness program and it will be a combination of different strategies. Magkakaroon tayo doon ng uh, intermittent fasting, meron tayo doon about uh, exercising and also mga recipes. So sa mga nagnanais po ng more advanced guidance, magkakaroon tayo nitong wellness program. So, watch out na lang po. If, um, kung maaaring panoorin po yung sa YouTube naman, then panoorin muna yun kasi it talks about a little bit more advanced fasts. So, yun po. Sabi naman po ni, thank you for your comment, Miss Marielle. And, sino pa po ang nag-comment dito? Ikako Designs. I'm on intermittent, intermittent fasting. Sorry, intermittent fasting for a week now. 16-8 schedule. How to know whether this is the best plan? So there are a few great questions. Maraming salamat po. There are a few things to consider. Uh, bago po natin i-decide kung anong plan will work best for you. It's good to ease into it. Ibig sabihin ay yung katulad nga po ng ginagawa nyo na nag-start na kayo with 16-8. Ngayon, 
Kung 16.8, nakakakita na po kayo ng resulta dyan, then you can stay there. So, yung sinasabi na safe, you know, based on science, medical, safe kind of weight to lose para hindi maapektuhan yung ating buto is around 2 pounds per week. So, almost like a kilo per week, right? Some people can go faster dahil, you know, the moment that you let go of sugar, it can really help you lose that excess weight. So, yung some, some people will go even faster than 2 pounds a week. Kung nakakakita na po kayo ng resulta with 2 pounds a week and kaya ninyo walang adverse effects sa inyo, then 16-8 may be the thing. Some people will need longer kasi meron pong interplay yung hormones, yung genetics, yung medical conditions sa atin pong and then yung amount ng ating fat storage sa ability natin to lose weight. So lahat pong mga bagay na yun, and I'll talk about this in a more detailed manner sa isang video, but all those factors play a role into how fast we can lose the weight sa, you know, at any given time. So kung napapansin nyo, with the 16-8, it's not really budging. Then you may have to slowly ease into a longer fast, like an 18. So nabanggit ko po siguro sa isang live, kung natatandaan ninyo, I myself, I don't really need to lose weight, but every day I'm on 18-6. 18, six. 18 hours, hindi po ako makain, 6 hours yung kain ko. So that, what, how does that look like? So 6 p.m. to 12 or sometimes 7 p.m. to 1. Yun po yung aking baseline pang araw-araw po yun. Sometimes I go longer and um, just note, I don't need to lose weight, right? So every person's different and I think it's because of my genetics. Yung akin pong one side of the family is mga tabain, isang side of the family is slim. So again, it is a very personal uh, thing and the, yung inyong pamantayan ay depende po sa nakikita po ninyong resulta. So if you're not getting results with the 16-8, yung at least 2 pounds per week, then you may have to go longer. Dahil mas mahirap i-access yung storage for some reason. It could be the hormones, it could be your genetics, it could be yung kung nasaan yung storage. Kasi iba-iba iba po yung storage systems, ano po? Meron po tayong yung sa liver, so yung fatty liver, kailangan ma-access mo na yon. And then you have yung nasa chan, yung sa loob, hindi po yung sa labas ha, hindi yung bilbil, meron pa po tayong fat sa loob. And then syempre, yung bilbil mismo, then yung sa balakang, and then yung sa upper body, right? So iba't ibang fat storage systems will also require different time frames. So yun po yung kasagutan doon. Hopefully it helped answer, it helped answer your question. Great question, maraming salamat po. Yeah. So, uh, sino pa po ang magtatanong? So, intermittent fasting. Thank you for this question. 15 years old. Ano po yung ating general guideline? It's not a good idea po. For 15, we need to, uh, kasi 18 po talaga yung ating recommended cutoff. For, ano, kasi they are still in the process of development. So, may mga pangangailangan po sila sa mga nutrients and all that. And occasionally, we would do it you know, sa mga diabetic, you know, patients. However, kailangan ng patnubay ng doktor. So, generally, I would just say 18. Kung talagang kailangan-kailangan po mag ng weight, uh, kailangan ng guidance ng doctor po. Kung ito ay 15 and, and below. The, the main thing is to just cut out the sugar po. Mag-start muna po tayo doon. Don't go into intermittent fasting muna. Just cut out the sugar. Ano bang sugar yung sinasabi ko? Well, uh, unang-una yung amount ng rice, yun ang pinaka-common sa Filipino diet. Amount ng rice, minsan kasi nasa ano lang yun eh, amount ng rice or bread. Once you regulate that, kasi they don't need that too much. It's too carby, ano po. Kung maari namang gulay o protein ang kainin, then yun na lamang po muna. Rather than, and some many times, kapag tinanggal niyo po yun, so rice, bread, collard drinks, Mga cola, juices, mga ganun po. You don't need anything other than water, maybe coffee or tea. So kung, kung tatanggalin muna natin yun, then look at the result po. Baka dun pa lamang ay magkaroon na ng magandang epekto po. So uh, yun muna po ang masasabi ko about that. Please don't, um, I'm not encouraging younger people to go into fasting uh, nang walang patnubay po ng doktor. Kung gagawin po, make sure that you are 
keeping in touch with your medical practitioner. Ayan. So, moving on na po tayo. So, let's have a look. Tingnan natin yung susunod po nating question. Ito po. Susunod na question. Ready na po ba? Ay, may time po during eating window na napapakain ako ng crispy pata. Mababurn po ba yun during fasting window? Thanks po. Yeah, so thank you for this question. Another great question. Yeah, usually ang mga tanong dito ay ang gaganda kasi talagang real life scenario po ito. Ano? Sige nga po, lagay nga po sa comment kung ano sa tingin ninyo ang kasagutan dito. Iinom lang ako ng aking tsa. Yeah, sige nga po. Ano po kaya ang kasagutan dito? Sige nga po. Let's have a look. Sino pong gustong sumagot? Lagay niyo po sa comment. Kung kakain daw ba sa eating window ng crispy pata, mababurn ba siya during fasting window? Sige nga po. Sino po ang may gustong i, ano dito, bahagi? Yeah, sabi ni Ronalyn, third question was sent in by Miss Marilyn Dakigan. Yeah, thank you po Miss Marilyn. Yeah. So, ano pong sagot dito? Sabi ni Ms. Peng Sheng Pate, eh, ito, sabi niya, pwede naman po, wag lang marami. Yeah. Sino pa po ang gusto? Sabi ni Marlene, tingin ko po hindi po. Yeah. Sabi ni Hill, Hill Mai, yes po. Sabi ni Ms. Veronica, I think yes, Doc, mababurn po yun. Peng Sheng Pate, pwede naman po kung tikim lang din po. Oh, sabi ni Miss or Mr. Ikako Design, it's good to know because I had wanted to uh, wanted to try longer fasting time. 16-8 seems too easy, but I was hesitant because I might overdo it. Yeah, thank you po sa inyong um, question kanina. Yeah, you're right po. It's a very individualized uh, thing, very individualized regimen. So, sabi naman ni Miss um, Leonelin Vallejo, maburburn po. Yeah. Pwede naman po, basta dahan-dahan lang. Sabi ni Miss Rina. Sabi ni Ross, hindi po ako kumakain ng pork. Yeah. Every person is different. Sabi ni Miss, Miss Lulu, uh, yes. Okay, so ano bang kasagutan dyan? So, again, burning. Kung napanood po ninyo, I have one video where I explain yung concept uh, about yung metabolism. Yung, I think it's the diet or exercise. Maybe, Ronalyn, can you find the link for that and i-post natin dito? Kasi doon sa concept na yun, naka-explain yung difference uh, why diet actually works better than exercise. Although, lagi ko pong sinasabi sa inyo, ano po, and I will always keep repeating na importante pong exercise, uh, but it's, it's actually more related sa diet rather than exercise, yung makakatulong sa inyo mag-lose ng weight. So, crispy pata, kung kakain po tayo nito in moderation, uh, so the short answer is, maburn pa rin yun. However, tatandaan po, always look at the balance between how much have you got to go. Let's say, kakasimula nyo pa lang ng intermittent fasting, marami pa kayong storage system. So, marami pang storage sa babida na kailangan maburn. Tapos kakain kayo ng crispy pata dun sa time na kayo ay non-fasting, then yung inyo pong reserve ay hindi mababawasan dahil yung kinain po ninyong fat na yun, yun yung, yung gagamitin ng katawan. First of all, um, gagamitin muna niya yung glucose. Crispy pata is mainly fat. Ano po? And then, kung yun ang gagamitin, then it won't access yung nasa stored system natin. So, Depende kung nasa na po kayo ng cycle ng inyong fasting, nasa ang phase na kayo, kung nasa maintenance na lamang kayo, na abut nyo na yung inyong ideal weight. For example, give you, let's, let me give you an example. Si Inday G, right? Sa mga hindi pa nga po pala nagpa-follow sa ating mga ka-FSM team healthy members. So, Inday G, Team Fortaleza, meron silang Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Simply Hazel as well. Ito po yung ating mga napaka-inspiring na mga friends team healthy friends natin na nag-lose weight from intermittent fasting, exercising, mga ganun. And so, follow nyo po sila kung hindi pa na-follow. Maraming masasarap na healthy recipes sa, sa channel ni Inbay G. 
So anyhow, kung nandun na kayo sa face na katulad nila, so in the G, right? Chef Jomar, okay lang kung kayo yung mapapakrispy pata sometimes, right? You're in the maintenance maintenance phase. Wala ka na masyadong i-burn. Nagme-maintain ka na lang. So, ibig sabihin, yung kakainin mo can be easily burned later, and especially kung may kasamang exercise, right? Dahil based on your daily requirement, you really need that enough calories para lamang patakbuhin yung katawan mo. Di ba yun ang pinakamalaking requirement na ng ating energy consumption ng body is yung pagpapatakbo ng ating bodily functions, right? Yung mga cell functions and ganun. And so, kung kakain kayo, tapos nasa maintenance phase na kayo, that's fine. However, kung long way to go pa po kayo, medyo pag-isipang maigi, it's better to, uh, I guess, you know, kung talaga hindi maiwasan, tikim-tikim, pwede. Pero uh, it's better for you to stick to healthier fats. Nabanggit ko po yan sa video, healthier fats, yun po yung mga olive oil natin, mga salmon, chia seeds, coconut, mga ganun po. Ano. So, if, again, kung talagang hindi may wasan, pwedeng tumikim. But it depends, consider where you are in your journey ng weight loss. Kung kayo ay nasa maintenance phase na lang, that's okay. Walang problema. Pero kung tayo ay uh, malayo-layo pa ang kailangan nating tahakin to reach our ideal weight, then maybe reconsider and eat healthier fat. So yun lamang po. And everything in moderation lamang po. Ano, pwede namang tumikim-tikim, but you know, in moderation. And again, consider the stage of your journey. So yun po. Okay, so, sana nga po ba tayo? Wait, nalito na ako. Ayan, yun, yun yung crispy pata. And so, next question po is, eto, pwede po ba sa akin, meron po akong thyroid, salamat po. Okay. So, I think yung nag-ask nitong question to, ibig sabihin meron siyang thyroid condition. So, uh, it should be fine po, generally. Thyroid condition should be okay as long as kayo ay stable. Kumbaga, yung uh, last level, kasi dapat po kayo ay nagpapacheck din, ano po yung sa laboratorio, pinapatignan, ano na nga ba yung level ng thyroid ko ngayon. As long as ito ay stable, you should be fine to go into intermittent fasting. And the good thing is, yung gamot po ninyo, yung synthroid, um, kung kayo ay hypothyroid, it can be taken while fasting. So, wala pong problema. Yeah. So, yun po ang susunod nating question. Let me see. Tinan po natin dito sa ating comment section. Ito. So, pinakita ni Ronalyn, ito po yung ating link sa YouTube nung diet or exercise. Yan po. I-screenshot nyo po or... Yeah, actually, may hirapan sila nito. But anyway, that that's the link doon po sa importanteng video na yon. kung saan na-explain ko why you, you know, what, bakit diet is so important. You know, yung critical role ng burning ng energy. So, metabolism, basal energy expenditure. In-explain ko po siya doon para mas maintindihan. Doon po sa mga nagnanais lamang ng more information para maintindihan lalo. Yan. So, yun po ang ating um, link. And, yeah, Emily, hi. Mga patients ko nandito. Hello, Emily. Thanks for tuning in. Medyo maaga pa, no? Yeah. So, ito naman, sabi ni Ronalyn, sent by Miss Zekia Loha. Yeah. Thank you, Miss Zekia, for your question. Yes. Ito po, Roxanne Manggad. Is it okay po ba na mag-intermittent fasting ka? Can you... Eat whole grain, high fiber, zero fat na oats. Okay, great question. So, Miss Roxanne, yung oats po, iba't ibang uri din siya. Okay, so guys, there are a few variety varieties of oats. Uh, kung ito, um, if you're talking about yung non-fasting time na, then you're okay to eat during your non-fasting time. However, tingnan din natin kung anong klaseng oat siya. Right? Meron pong oats na ready yung instant, yung parang lalagay mo lang mainit na tubig, ready na. Merong oats na matagal lutuin, which is yung mga steel cut, mga ganun, rolled oats. It takes around 20 minutes to to cook them. So, alin ang mas magandang uri? Yun pong matagal lutuin. So, yun pong uh, steel cut oats are the best. They are good carbs. They get 
complex, complex carbs. So they get slowly released sa ating system. Uh, dahil tingnan nyo nga naman, sa pagluto pa lang, 20 minutes na. Ibig sabihin, dahan-dahan ang kanilang breakdown sa loob ng katawan. And in that way, dahan-dahan ang sugar release. And so ano po mangyayari? Less ang stimulation, less ang spike kay boss insulin. On the other hand, tingnan natin yung mga instant oats. Unang-una, uh, dahil sa pagproseso sa kanila, right guys, we always talk about processed foods versus whole foods. Lagi nyo ako nakikita sa mga stories na post whole foods versus processed foods. Lagay nga natin dito. So, whole foods. Yan, kasi may importante concept po ito. So, yung steel cut na oat, yung, yung mahirap lutuin, yun ay whole foods siya. Hindi pa siya masyadong dumaan sa pagpoproseso. And so, it's actually better. Unang-una, wala sila mga dina, dinagdag na additives doon. Hindi pa nila nabibreak down. So, if you're gonna go for oats, choose whole food type, yung steel cut oats, yung mahirap matagal lutuin. Yung mga ready-made, unang-una ay pinoseso na ikalawa dinagdagan ng kung ano-ano. Hindi po ba? Maraming iba't ibang flavor. Merong uh, maple sugar. Dito sa Canada, merong uh, yung may mga dino, chocolate, ganun pa. May apple cinnamon, brown sugar. Anong ginagawa nila pag pinoproseso nila? Di syempre, they make it more addicting, right? So they, they're making it more addicting by adding sugar. And so matamis, napakatamis. And then, napakadaling ma-release sa katawan because it's already processed. So, when you're choosing something like this, even sa mga grains and ganon, di ba? I talked about yung barley din, yung pagkakaiba ng pearled barley versus husked barley. Yung isa proseso, yung isa hindi. Then you choose the whole food, right? So, kung may choice tayo between natural na yung whole food, hindi masyado na proseso, yun po ang piliin natin. So, that's a great question. Thank you po for that question. Okay. So, moving on na po tayo. Tingnan ko nga po. Ito, tapos na ba ito? Yeah. Ah, ito. Hindi pa pala ito tapos. Ano ah, no, no? Tapos na ito. Okay. So, this one. Yeah. Great question. Ito na naman po. Isang napakagandang tanong. Pwede po ba ako sa intermittent fasting? 64-year-old na po ako. Ano po sa tingin niyo mga ka-FSM? Ano pong sagot dito sa tanong na ito? Pwede daw po ba siyang mag-fasting? Kahit siya ay 64. Tingnan natin. Yeah. Ayan, andito po si Miss Adora. Miss Adora, hello po. Kanina ay uh, kami po ay nagpasalamat po sa inyo. Maraming salamat po sa inyong support. Ha? We really appreciate your support. And makikita niyo po doon sa inyong special uh, section po sa supporters group. Isa po itong private group kung saan yung, nandun yung mga supporters natin. Magpapublish po kami doon ng mga recipes para lamang sa inyo. In fact, nandun na yung unang recipe, courtesy of our butihing VA, si Brother Melvin. So, nandun na po ang inyong recipe for the day para sa inyong healthy uh, intermittent fasting, healthy living recipe. Thank you very much po, Miss Adora. Okay. So, sino po ang sasagot dito sa katanungang ito? Siya ba ay pwede mag-fasting? 64-year-old na daw siya. Ano po sa tingin ninyo? Let's see. Sabi ni, sabi ni Heal May, yes daw. Sabi ni Peng Sheng Pit, oo nga po. Pwede po ba sa medyo may edad na? Yan, sabi ni Miss Veronica, pwede po doc, basta magpakonsult muna sa doktor. Yes. Sabi ni Miss Lulu, yes, as long as you're okay. Sabi ni Nalen, thank you daw Miss Adora. Si, si Nalen ay isa sa ating mga VAs. She's, she's part of the FSM team. And so, yeah, we appreciate your support. Yeah, sabi ni Ms. Marisol Noda, thank you. So helpful info. Hello. Hello din po. Saan man po kayo naroon? Ayan. So, let's see po. Uh, Leonelin, pwede po. Tatay ko, 63-year-old. Nagsabi na mag-fast dahil nasa lahi po namin ng high blood, diabetic, and hypertension. Yeah, okay. So, thank you po sa mga answers ninyo, sa mga nag-volunteer. Sabi ni Ms. Cecile, yes, if with no health issues. Yes, thank you very much for that. Janeline, pwede po, Doc, basta okay lang po yung health niya. Yeah. Rod, sabi, oo daw. Okay. 
So, yeah, in general terms, napakagandang. O, ayan ha, magagaling na ng mga ka-FSM natin. So, magagaling na po mag-advise. Talagang natututo na sa ating learning session. So, tama po yung mga sinabi nila. Basta po, uh, ang health condition ay napasuri na sa doktor at walang ibang major concerns. Walang, you know, yung mga gamot na review. It should be fine, uh, generally. Kasi hindi naman yan, uh, you know, hindi naman yan masyadong related so much sa age, kailangan lamang uh, titignan natin yung amount of storage to be lost. Kasi kung marami-rami pa, that's okay. Kaya lang po yung 2 pounds per week na sinasabi ko kanina, mas kailangan natin i-observe sa matatanda. Bakit po? Dahil uh, they start going into bone loss. Yung medyo, yung buto po nila nagiging brittle. And so if you go beyond 2 pounds per week na loss of weight, you may have bone loss as well. So that's why we don't advise very rapid weight loss sa mga mas matatanda po dahil naaapektuhan po yung buto. Okay? So yun lamang po yung masasabi ko about that. Uh, Pusibli pa rin pong gawin. Magpasuri muna sa doktor. I-clear muna lahat ng medical conditions, mga gamot. Pag okay na lahat, they can do it. But be very gentle. Not more than 2 pounds per week para maprotektahan ang buto. Yun po ang kasagutan doon. Thank you. Great question. So, uh, ito po ba ay nabasa na natin? Before we go, move on to the next question, I'm gonna pull up yung third winner. So, kanina, si Miss Donna Liwanag, ikalawa si Marlin. Ikatlong winner po natin, si Janeline. Janeline, you won. So, paki-contact po si Nalen. Ito ang third winner natin for the week. Maraming salamat, Janeline. I can see that you're very active at ikaw ay na-pull up ng ating comment picker kasi masyado kang active daw. Ayan. Thank you very much for your support. So, pakicontact na lamang po si Ronalyn. Ayan. So, ito po. Susunod na question. Ask lang po, bakit parang mabagal umepekto ang fasting sa akin kahit 16 hours ginagawa ko? Ano ang dapat gawin? Kaya, po ba sa akin? Meron po akong thyroid. Salamat po. God bless. So, Maganda po ito. God bless din po sa inyo. Maraming salamat sa inyong tanong. Magandang tanong po ito. Dalawa ang layer dito sa katanungan ito. Unang-una, uh, yung mabagal na pag-epekto kahit na 16 hours. Ano po sa tingin ninyo mga ka-FSM? Base sa inyong nalaman ngayon, doon sa aking diniscuss kanina, what do you think is happening here? 16 hours na raw siya nagpa-fasting. Meron daw siyang thyroid condition. Ano po sa tingin ninyo kaya? ang nangyayari bakit mabagal umepekto ang fasting. Tingnan nga po natin. Let me know ano po ang inyong comment tungkol dito base sa inyo pong nalaman sa ating mga katanungan as mga diniscuss natin kanina. Sino po ang gustong sumagot? Yeah. Lahat po nagko-congrats pa lang. Congrats daw kay Janeline. Anna Ferrer, hello Anna, watching daw siya. Sabi ni Brother Nelvin, congrats daw. Sabi ni Janelyn, thanks sis. Ayan, so ito, napakaganda. Si Ms. Peng Sheng Pip, baka po hypothyroid. So again guys, we go back to the basics. Ano? When you have a medical condition, make sure that that medical condition is stable first. Dapat stable. Ibig sabihin na sa range yung kanya mga values, especially sa ganitong condition, thyroid, right? Kung hindi adjusted ng maayos yung medication at kayo ay hypothyroid, ibig sabihin mabagal uh, yung paggana ng inyong thyroid, nahihirapan po talaga kayo mag-lose weight kasi hypothyroidism slowed down yung inyong metabolism. Uh, mabagal lahat, pati pag dumi, lahat, lahat po. Pag burn ng calories, mabagal. And so, no matter what you do, until you stabilize that, mahirapan po kayong mag-lose weight. So, unang-unang bagay yun. So, thank you, Ms. Peng Sheng Tate, for highlighting this. Baka po yung inyong thyroid condition ay hindi adjusted. So, yun yung una. Ikalawa, titignan po natin kung okay naman yung inyong thyroid condition at hindi naman yung thyroid yung issue, baka po kailangan nyo ng longer fast. So again, it depends a lot on a few things, right? Sinabi ko kanina, hormones, family, yung genetics, yung body type, storage system, yung edad, iba't ibang factors po yan. And so you may need, need like longer, more advanced fasts. 
kasi 16 may not be cutting it for you. So yun po yung ano doon, again, two-layered, unang-una, medical condition, ikalawa, it may be, you may be needing a longer fast. So yun po. So yeah, sabi ni Ms. Leonelin, consult first, maybe related sa illness. Yes, that's so true. Sabi po ni Ms. Eugene, or Mr. Eugene, dahil po sa kanyang condition, kaya mas maigi po muna magpakonsulta. Maraming salamat po, sir. Tama po ang inyong advice. Yes, nakahabol pa raw si Anna. We're glad you're here, Anna. Yeah. So, sabi ni Ms. Annie G. Passion, tama po, hypothyroid. Yes, salamat daw sa pag-acknowledge. Yes, thank you sa, pa- sa iyong comment, Ms. Peng Sheng Pate. Right on. Tumpak po. Yeah. So, yun po ang ating susunod na, na question. Okay, so now, moving on, let's have a look here. Um, in the interest of time, uh, we'll, we're gonna have one last question and then sa susunod na po natin pag-uusapan ano po yung mga iba pang katanungan. Uh, before we move on, nakailang winners na po ba tayo? Si Miss Donna Liwanag, si Miss Marlene Miranda, si Janeline, ayan, tatlo na po. So, next winner, before moving on po, ano, and the questions were, eto, natapos na natin yan, tapos na rin natin, okay. So, next winner, before we move on, gusto ko lang po i-announce na, in the interest of time, we have Miss Jessa San Victores, Miss Jessa, ayan, congratulations, Miss Jessa, thank you, I know you're very, very active as well sa FSM platform. Maraming salamat sa pagtag sa iyong mga kaibigan for your support from the very, very beginning. Si Jessa po ay very active na dito. Congratulations. Please uh, get in touch with Ronalyn. Yan. Yan po yung atin pong susunod na winner. Apat na po yung namimension natin. So, congratulations po. Yes. So, pull up ko lang po yung comment dito. Si Ms. Salet Pascual, sa akin ang ginagawa ko umiinom ng prune juice kasi may thyroid din ni kasi nahihirapan din ako mag-digest. Okay, thank you for sharing po Ms. Salet Pascual. Prune juice will have a little bit of sugar in it. So, pero kung kailangan po, then you must do it. Yeah. Okay. So, yun po ang mga comment natin. Meron pong question dito. Lori Flor Golo. Pwede po ba mag-water ther- therapy kahit nasa oras na ako sa fasting ko? Yeah, so water therapy, what exactly do you mean by that? If you mean na iinom ka lang ng tubig, that should be fine. That should be fine kung tubig lamang po at walang mga additives. Again, ano-ano nga po ba ang mga pwede? Sige nga po. Ano-ano nga po ba ang mga pwede pag tayo ay nagpa-fasting? So, sulat ko dito yung mga pinaka-common po. Ano? So, ayan. Ito po yung mga maari natin pong inumin. Water, black coffee, tea, iba't ibang uri ng tsa, lemon water ka naman, sea water, ginger water, oregano, mga ganun. Basta wala pong kasamang asukal or iba pang additives, ano po. So, yan yung mga pwede. Pwede rin ang, ano pa po ang pwede. Sa mga specially, sa mga nag-longer fast, and I'm excited to share with you, ishishare ko po ang recipe ko sa inyo. Ito po, ang, ano po, ang pwedeng, sa mga long, long fasts, bone, <laughs> mali, bone broth po yan. Sorry, na-excite ako sa, sa pagtatype. Ulitin ko. Ayan, bone broth. Ayan, bone broth. Share ko po sa inyo yung recipe. Kung kayo ay nagnanais mag-longer fast, kailangan nyo ng bone broth. So, yun po, ang mga maaaring pwedeng inumin. Ayan. So, finally, Ayan, sabi ni Miss Angie, tama, walang sugar, lemon water. Sabi ni Miss Zartasha, hands, that's true. Pwede po ang lemon, sabi ni Miss Veronica Caranto. Tea without sugar. Yeah, so Miss Eunice, um, let me talk about this a little bit. Yung prutas po will have sugar. So fruits, if you do eat fruits, hindi na po yun considered fasting. Hindi na po yun fasting. So, Black coffee is okay, but when you eat fruits, hindi na po siya fasting. So you're breaking your fast. Ang fruits po, mainam kainin sa panahon na kayo ay non-fasting na. Yeah. So yun. Ito. So ito. Marlin, great question. 
If mag-fasting po pero nakakaramdam po ng hila, hilo, paano po yun? The answer is fluids and bone broth. So abangan po ang recipe. Ilalabas ko po yun. Thank you for the great question. Yeah. So sabi ni Veronica dito sa FSM, hatakan pataas. Thank you very much, Veronica. Alam na alam mo talaga tagline natin, no? Hatak pataas. Yeah, calamansi juice, sabi ni Ms. Rod, sabi ni Ms. Adora, I drink lemon water every morning or during fasting hours. That's a great uh, thing to do po. Favorite din po yan ni Sir Jomar, Ms. Adora. Yeah, sabi ni Ms. Eunice, okay po dok, akala ko pwede. Yeah, yung fruits po ay magandang kainin, it's very good to eat doon po sa ating non-fasting time. Pero hindi po during fasting kasi sugar po yun, meron po siyang sugar, although it's good, but it's gonna be a trigger sa inyo pong insulin release. Sabi po ni Mr. Ronald Bill, water with lemon. Tama po, sir. Yeah. Drink the soup. Sabi ni Ms. Cindy Pada Reyes, chicken feet and broth cubes. Drink so, iba't iba pong klase po. So, thank you for your sharing. Maari pong chicken feet para sa kanya. Sa iba naman po ay beef. So, iba't iba po yan. I'll share with you my recipe. So, abangan po ninyo sa YouTube. Doc, during 18-6 fasting sked, mga ilang beses po tayo pwede kumain. Is it fine to eat four times? Great question. Actually, sasagutin ko yan in a more detailed manner. But balikan natin yung concept. Balikan natin yung concept, basic concept. Depende sa unang-una, anong kinakain mo na apat na beses. Ikalawa, ano ba yung ginagawa every time? Kasi nakadepende sa kung anong kinakain mo yung pag-trigger mo kay boss insulin. Remember, boss insulin, if you trigger it more, anong mangyayari po? Ano yung trabaho niya? Fat deposition. So, if you're triggering it more and you're eating food that will trigger boss insulin more, you get more fat deposition. Kung ang kinakain mo dun sa apat na beses na yun is less triggering kay insulin, it should be okay. Right? So, maraming may layer yung, yung sagot dyan kasi depende sa kinakain kung siya ay trigger kay boss insulin and in that way will cause fat deposition or um, yung amount din of course varies, right? Or kung hindi siya nag-trigger. So, depende po ang sagot doon. So, the less amount of time that you eat, yung tinatawag like what we do sometimes team healthy, we do OMAD, one meal a day. Isang beses. Kung hindi kayang isang beses, the less time, kung apat na beses talaga ang kailangan, then choose food that will not trigger boss insulin. Right? So, ano ba yun? Healthy fat, protein, hindi yun mag-trigger ng boss insulin. Okay? So, yun po ang sagot doon. Yes. Si Miss Myla, thank you so much din po sa nice info. Nak- napanood ko kasi video niyo about that diet. Then, nagpusigi ako kasi ni- no need exercise naman. So, ayun, nag-success naman. Hopefully, tuloy-tuloy na po ito. Yeah. So, Miss Myla, thank you for sharing. Uh, again, I always advocate po Although very, very effective, tama po kayo, very effective ang intermittent fasting kahit walang exercise. But for general, kasi gusto namin kayong hatakin pataas mag-level up. So for the other aspects of your health, you need exercise, right? So for brain health, for optimizing your body, mas maganda po kung may kasamang exercise. So pero you're right, uh, kung intermittent fasting lamang ang ginagawa, it's a good start. We always advocate for healthier overall living. So hopefully, mahikayat din namin kayong mag-workout. Yeah. Yeah. So sabi ni Miss Hill, my oh, that's so sweet. You're such a big help to my diet. God bless din sa'yo. Thank you very much for tuning in. Yeah. Okay. So uh, marami pong comment but we're over time na. I'm gonna pull up one last and uh, magkakaroon tayo ng isa pang session. So don't worry, this is just session one. Saka na po natin pag-uusapan mga VA natin. FSM team, can you please... Make sure you're pulling up all the questions that were unanswered and we'll, uh, use, uh, we'll answer them sa susunod nating broadcast. Finally, uh, na-mention ko na po si Jessa, ano, the last winner, ito pong last winner for, today, for the day, for the week. Uh, this one, hindi siya random picker. I chose this winner kasi she said something that actually coincided doon po sa... If, you are familiar. Thank you nga po pala sa mga nagpo-follow din sa isa ko pang platform, Iris Radev MD, which is yung platform ko more for like a global audience. Uh, and doon sa platform ko na yon, I will be releasing more videos doon sa YouTube. Uh, yung mga nagpo-follow po sa Instagram ko doon, Iris Radev MD, yung Facebook, YouTube, ganon. 
Thank you very much. And so ito pong comment na ito is close to my heart kasi this is actually what the platform will be all about. Uh, alam niyo naman po, I always um, talk about harmony. Ano po, especially yung mga followers natin dito, maraming mga roles na ginajuggle sa buhay, nanay, tatay, uh, nagtatrabaho pa, o kaya nagnenegosyo. Uh, you know, you juggle so many roles. And so yung platform that I created is actually addressing that. Yung paano ba tayo magkaka-harmony at maging makabuluhan yung ating tagumpay sa iba't ibang aspeto. So this winner, I'm gonna pull up, Maria Sheila, sabi niya, wear many hats, so proud of you po. Maria Sheila is the next winner. Maria Sheila, ang dami mo na rin na panalunan ha. Yeah, so kasi the, my platform, the Iris Radev MD platform, it's a separate platform from FSM, is actually about this, wearing many hats and in spite of that, you know, thriving in, in harmony. So, kasi alam ko po marami mga tao na stress, marami po mga tao na medyo nahihirapan i-juggle yung kanilang iba't ibang role sa buhay. And so, sa mga interesado po, please uh, also support that platform kasi it will be talking more about that. How do you thrive as a mother, as a career person, as a doctor, or not doctor, career person, negosyante, as, you know, a friend, mga ganun po. So it's all about harmony and meaningful living, meaningful success. So yun po yung ating final winner. Ah, sorry. Meron pa nga po pala akong Twitter. Yeah. Meron akong Twitter sa mga gusto pong mag-follow din sa Twitter. Uh, hopefully you'll find me there. So yeah, so Maria Sheila, thank you very much for your comment. Yeah, so yeah, ikaw yung final winner for the day. So mga ka-FSM, I think I'm gonna end here. And... Magkita-kita na lamang po tayo. Congratulations daw kay Sheila. Yes. Congrats daw, sabi ni Peng Sheng Tate. Sabi rin ni Melvin. Thank you very much for always tuning in. Yeah, congrats po sa winners. Yeah, lima lang pala na Len. Sorry, I made a mistake. It's lima nga lang pala, lima. Yes. Marami daw natutunan si Veronica. Ayan. So, Anyhow, I'll see you again soon. Medyo marami pa pong mga katanungan, yung mga hindi po nasagot next time na lamang po. Um, it's a big topic and we can talk so many, you know, times about this. And yeah, you're welcome to just post all your questions po at sinascan po yan ng FSM team. Tinitignan po nila yung comments. Tinitignan nila kung ano yung mga gusto ninyong masagot. And we will try our best to answer. Uh, maaring through video or postings or sa susunod na live. So, I will be posting some more details about po yung mga katanungan na yon. So, watch out na lamang po. So, again, yung hopefully po, masupport ninyo ang ating iba pa pong Team Healthy Members. Again, Team Fortaleza po and Simply Hazel para kayo ma-inspire sa inyong fitness journey. And of course, yung atin pong uh, yung atin pong group, yung Filipino Success Movement Group, and sa mga gustong sumali sa contest, hanapin po itong poster na ito. Yan po. Malapit na po ang John yan. Next week na po yan. So, yeah. Yung mga interesado po, we're giving away um, 20,000 next week. So, tune in na lang, lamang po. Ano? So, that's it for now, mga ka-FSM. Think about how you're gonna apply this. Always, pinag-uusapan natin dito, learn and apply. Learn and apply. Kung may natutunan kayo ngayon, naisip nyo na, oh yeah, nagkaroon kayo ng aha moment, ayun pala yun. Then gawin po ninyo. Apply po ninyo. Okay? Do not dabble sa intermittent fasting. You have to commit. Hindi po pwedeng fling. Hindi pwedeng banjing-banjing. Commitment po ang kailangan. Okay? And kahit magka-LQ, minsan hindi masusunod, but you have to commit, babalikan po ulit. Okay? Yun lamang po for now. Thank you for tuning in and have a great night. Bye mga ka-FSM. Level up.